In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off Amber Alerts. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click the subscribe button and the notification bell because we publish computing related videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any of them. Amber Alerts, they're obviously important. We want to know when a child goes missing in our area. However, there are some times when we really don't want to hear that loud Amber Alert go off. Maybe we're in church. Maybe we are in some special meeting. Regardless, since we never know when Amber Alerts are going to happen, we want to be able to turn them off. I'm going to show you on the Android phone and on the iPhone how to take control of the Amber Alerts. We'll start with the Android phone. First, we're going to open the Settings app. Then we're going to use the search function. And this is what you need to type. Wireless emergency alerts. When I start out the word wireless, you can see that wireless emergency alerts is the third suggestion down. However, on your phone, that may not happen if you've never gone there before. If that's the case, keep typing wireless and then go to the next word emergency. And before you finish that, you'll probably get these two options. You want to select the one that says connections, more connection settings. Tap on that. Now you are on the more connection settings window. Once again, at the top of this window, you see wireless emergency alerts. Tap that. And now you'll get a list of those emergency alerts your phone has received in the past. We don't really care about that. We're going to click on the three vertical dots and one of the options that appears is settings. I tap that. At the top of the settings window, you see alert types. Tap that. Now you have a list of the types of alerts your phone can receive. Extreme alerts, severe alerts, amber alerts, public safety alerts, state local test alerts. Each of these categories has a little explanation under it. I'm not going to go into that right now. You simply read that and you can decide whether you want them on or off. As you can see on my phone, the Amber Alerts are off. To turn it on, all I have to do is tap it and it's on. The same thing with the other alerts. I can turn them on and off. There's one exception. At the very top of the list, there's something called the Presidential Alerts. It's actually grayed out and it's grayed out because that is always on. You cannot turn that off. All right, once you make your selections, in this case, I'll turn Amber Alerts back off. Now I can simply exit out of settings and I'm finished on the Android phone. On the iPhone, just like the Android, we're going to tap on settings. Here we go to notifications and tap on that. Now scroll all the way down past all the apps that you have on your phone. And at the very bottom, you will see Amber Alerts, Emergency Alerts, and Public Safety Alerts. Once again, if we wanted to turn Amber Alerts off, we simply slide our switch to the left, and now it's off. If we don't want Public Safety Alerts, we could turn those off. Emergency alerts, we have sort of an option. We can click where it says on and we can turn off emergency alerts or we can tell them to always deliver even when we're in silent mode. I tap the back and again, you can make your decisions here 
You can turn your Amber Alerts on or off and then your other ones. You notice that unlike the Android phone, the iPhone doesn't really explain the differences between the alerts, but it's pretty similar. When you're finished, simply close the Settings app and you're done. Just a reminder, emergency alerts, Amber Alerts, if you turn them off for some reason, don't forget to turn them back on. It's important. That's it for this video. Have a great day.